Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at removing the flywheel out of here. So the flywheel is mounted into the motor side of this thing and it's bolted in with these bolts. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts in there to get this thing out. And honestly, these bolts came out really easy. I was shocked at how easy these came out. Now, I used the Cobalt electric um, impact wrench. And generally, you know, if a bolt's tightened down pretty tight, this thing will hammer for a few minutes and then it'll break it loose. But I hit this thing and those bolts came right out. That tells me they were not torqued down very tight and that somewhat concerned me so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get this thing out of here because it is registered up on the back of i guess you would call it the crankshaft in it's registered up on there and sometimes it can be the dickens to get out there's no way to get your fingers around the outer edge of this thing to pry it out so we're going to have to use some screwdrivers maybe um, and different things to kind of work it around to get it out but there's still nothing to grab a hold to so I built this little apparatus right here all it is a piece of flat steel it's about one inch wide it's probably three sixteenths thick not quite a quarter you could do it with a quarter you might even could do it with an eighth inch thick piece I don't know I cut some slotted holes here these are roughly 10 inches apart so they're nine and three quarter to ten and a quarter or ten and a half slot okay we're gonna take two of the bolts that held the pressure plate in and we're gonna use those and we're gonna bolt this in here let's bring the camera around I'll show you what that's gonna look like all right so hopefully you can see in there what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna bolt this into the holes where the pressure plate bolted up And what this is going to do is this is actually going to serve as a handle to grab a hold to. Now we'll take a screwdriver if we can find one. And I can't find one. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take a screwdriver, stick it down here around this bottom edge around here anywhere where we can see a little gap up here and we're just gonna give it a gentle wiggle we don't want to crank on it we don't want to drive it in there with a hammer or anything like that we just want to just wiggle it just ever so slightly just to get this thing loose if it's seated in place and there may be some rust build up okay so we're just trying to get it loose. It should be plenty loose right now because in, in all honesty, I've already had this out once. As you can tell, it's already been surface ground and refinished. It's ready to go pretty much. But I'm gonna show you because we've got a couple more things we've got to do to this flywheel before we reinstall it completely. So hopefully it'll come on out. I'm gonna grab it by the handle, give it a pull. Yep. Yep. Oop, nope not coming out all right we don't need to get a screwdriver let me go let me go grab a screwdriver and we'll give it a tug <clears throat> okay we got a screwdriver 
we're just gonna hopefully you've seen that but you see that so we just gently and then pull it and now she's she's loose we're gonna reach up in here two hands this thing's kind of heavy and pull it right out there you go all right so we got the flywheel out now and like I said we got a couple things we need to do to it we've had the side resurface that the clutch friction pad goes against and on this side over here we got a lot of surface rust so we're gonna put a gentle brush not a we're not going to use a knotted brush we're just going to use a crimped brush put it in an angle grinder and we're going to go over this surface and knock some of this rust off just dress this up a little bit we got some rust down in these holes here that were drilled for the balancing of it um a lot of rust in there. a lot of rust in here okay a lot of rust in this housing and uh, we're just going to kind of clean this up lightly. We're not trying to get down to, you know, brand new bare metal or anything like that. We're just trying to knock this rust off, get it cleaned up, so that there's not a big pile of rust on here to be going everywhere, you know. When that's, this thing gets to flying around in there spinning, that rust is it's going everywhere. And anywhere there's grease... That rust is mixing with that grease and creating a rubbing compound that is far worse than sandpaper. And it can do a lot of damage. So let's get this out of here, get the angle grinder set up, and we'll come back and start cleaning this thing up a little bit. Okay, so we got Dremel with a little brush on it. We're going to start off by cleaning out these holes right here. That got that got those holes pretty good we'll blow those out a little bit now we're going to do this surface right here we're going to do that with the angle grinder we're going to use this type of pad it's not the knotted one it's just the crimped one Okay, and they got that side right there. We're, we're going to do this too. But right here, get our little handle off. Now I took this in, uh, to a machine shop where they had a surface grinder. And we had this and this. This is the mating surface where the clutch pad is going to set against. Like that. Not like that. 
but like that okay but right around this edge there's still some rust okay the grinder didn't get quite far enough up in there which I didn't expect it would so we put this brass brush which is very gentle on steel it should only remove the rust we got it in the drill and we're going to see about cleaning that off and I thought this was a two-speed drill but let's see yeah, All right, here we go. Okay, and I was very gentle not to let this piece of metal hit on this finish. Okay, because we just had that ground. So I was kind of holding this sort of on an angle. So let's lie down. Now that I took care of that. And we'll take this out and get the air compressor and blow it off. <clears throat> now we need to work on this edge. All right, so we get the flywheel off. All cleaned up. And she's looking good. All right, I guess that's it for this part of it. We'll try to get moved on to something else. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.